Hey everybody, welcome back. So, we're on, where were we? I'm, we're on our main planet, main planet, main island here, uh, Mother. Um, so last time we basically got our new uh, island up here, Hot Stuff we called it. And uh, she's up and running here. Basically we have a trade ship here bringing lots of resources because, well to get all the resources up and running and what we need uh, it would have probably been a little too uh, taxing. And honestly the trade ships move so bloody fast that, uh, look at that. Uh, it obviously makes sense just to have the trade ships going and then even maybe having themed areas like this one does this, this does that, etc, uh, etc. Et so, uh, anyways, I'm really happy with our current setup. So, um, let's see what we're going to do. We have a tip here, new research available. Um, so, yeah, we're working on this research, so we might as well look into that. Now, we're going to need to get some of this other one going too. Now, you're going to combine them. So... I guess the way it works is it's based on island, uh, per island. So what we could do here is we can click our harbor here. No, maybe we can't click our harbor. Oh, there you go. Manage uh, shipping. And so what we could do is we can add something new to this one. So edit the trade lanes here. Yeah, let's go ahead and add red research here. So maintain target, blah, 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 until reserves are sale. Yeah, that's good. So basically it'll drain all the uh, the, re the resources there but the idea here is we'll move it to our main island and then that way uh, we can go ahead and uh, yeah that's kind of cool so you can click that and see what's going on here I guess yeah so yeah they're they're just running back and forth now with it yeah awesome yep Okay, so that's actually doing exactly what I didn't want. Because you can do the hybrid version, like, you know, using green and red research. So obviously that'll change things. So there you go. We're learning uh, the basics. So uh, one of the things we wanted to do is uh, work on making sure everything's up and running and growth and, you know, you name it, basically. So you can see these guys. They started at 500. Yeah. So it's got lots here. We got 1K iron here still, which is good. Um, how much iron do we have over here? 773. So we're not even running low, basically, on iron right now. We got uh, 14 idle workers, which makes sense because we were about 10-ish before. Um, as we increase our population, uh, it's been keeping up pretty decently, to be fair. So let's see where I want to go here. Um, let's, let's see our stats here. So I'm pretty sure you can look at your stats in a little bit more detail. I wonder if there's... Um, there you go. You just click mother itself. There you go. Of course, we've been in here before. So here's our resources. So uh, we can kind of see what's going on here overall. So uh, available is in green, allocated to 62. So that's the orange and total is okay. So yeah, you can see we're doing pretty good. Our vegetables are meh, but then again, we do have the fruits uh, or the foods. Those are default foods though, aren't they? Yeah, so we're a little low on vegetables. We did build, I think, more of those recently, though. So I might want to consider looking at more tea and stuff like that. Yeah, and then what about these resources? They're doing pretty good, except power. But we can actually do power, I think, this episode anyways. Um, iron ore, that doesn't really matter. So I would say we're doing really good resource-wise. I, I don't see really much of a shortage yet, anyways. Uh, I would say stone might be the first one that might end up shorting out uh, eventually, but I'd say for now we're doing pretty good, so. Um, let's look at getting some tea going here, I guess, a bit more. Is there any good spots for it? Oh yeah, here you go. Oh, this is the power thing, right? Oh yeah, so. Uh, pollution probably wouldn't make it the best place for force or um, for your tea to be fair. At least I wouldn't say it would be the best. There you go. Let's put it in here. We could always clean some of this up later on too, right? Get some more uh, roads around here. Cut some trees down. I didn't want to go too crazy on the tree cutting, but you know, eventually you might need to do some. Let's put one here too. Okay. And that'll help uh, get us some more of that tea, the lovely tea. Okay, so let's go ahead and check. So there was different ships we can build. Um, so let's check out uh, a scout ship maybe. So you have a colony ship, you have a scout ship. Let's do a scout ship for now. Now I wonder if the scout ship actually uh, builds ships starting blah blah blah. I wonder if the scout ship has the ability to 
do scouting on its own or how that works. I guess we'll find out, won't we? You see it bringing all the resources. We have the two warehouses we built last time here too. We'll have some of the resources. You got some of the other resources over here. And then you got your other ones over here as well. So we're doing pretty good for that. But uh, this should be, yep, yeah, there you go. Awesome. Kind of important to uh, get the oceans probably scouted, especially if it does it on its own. So this is interesting. So what do you do? You build up onto this or do you go, it's a mountain, yeah. So do you build a bridge on there? I don't even know if a bridge could go that far. Two t tiles of equal height. So yeah, you don't really have the... I don't know if there's a better way to do this or you just, you end up working with the very little amount here. I guess all you need is the, the just the one thing. So it takes one tile, one in the water. But uh, yeah, it's pretty crammed up if you ask me. It doesn't, it doesn't make it a really good spot, does it? <laughs> so here's a scout ship. Okay, so this ship uh, isn't being side an island. Oh. Oh, so it just scouts. Oh, okay. I was thinking it might do something different, but uh, okay. So I guess you could tell it to scout this, or? That can explore, okay. So apparently it can only go to certain islands, potentially. Okay, look at this one over here, that's pretty cool looking. I guess I never noticed this one. Oh, look at that. So we could definitely explore that, but look at this. There's like wreckage here. Sunken. That's cool. So maybe you can even get down there later on. So what about these guys here? This actually sounds exciting. Now, the question is, how do you get up there? You probably have to actually... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm always bad at hitting the wrong button here. See, I bet you you can't explore because it's too high, right? Oh yeah, but you can go the lower part here. There you go. Yeah, let's try the scout function on this. There you go. Huh. I guess the waypoints don't update automatically, or maybe it did. And Oh, is he grabbing resources? Oh my goodness, I think that's what he's doing. Potentially. No, never mind. I guess he just runs around. So there you go, oil is a new resource, so he found that at least. I guess we probably found it, just open it. Oh yeah, there's the oil there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cute. So maybe it just lets you see the island, really, and that's it. Whoa, what is this? Sunken ruins. It looks like tech ruins, though. Okay, so that scouting one wasn't as interesting. I mean, obviously it's pretty cool, but uh, I guess it wasn't quite a fast late to uh, explore an island. Okay. So it's basically like a one-time used ship to send one guy over to explore it. the island, literally. Okay, trade ship. Carry resources between ports, and then you have a colony ship, which obviously that'll be great over time. I, I might as well build one. Just have it done and ready for later on, but uh, another colony ship for later on usage. Okay, so let's look at the power here, because we're going to need power, and I guess you're going to need power on uh, all the different islands. So we have the new power option here. So, burns wood to generate power. So obviously it's the same idea. Um, nothing too special there, so... Uh, and obviously it creates pollution. So if we want to, we could do it up here somewhere. In the desert, wouldn't really annoy these guys too much. Might be a good spot for it. Yeah, let's do that. I'm thinking I might put another pathway up here too. Actually, do we have a, oh, we have a pathway right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too far of a walk, honestly, but yeah, we'll leave it alone. 
Because I'll get our generator up and running. Um, we have some good uh, stuff over here, trees and stuff. So maybe we'll get a path over here set up. I could just set up another uh, elevator here and then join it up later on. So. I'm thinking of doing that. There you go. I'll have it probably joined around, but it might be a good shortcut for it from time to time anyways. So. Where do you want to go here? Let's go. I'll go around it. Screw it. I know it's a bit of a waste, but there you go. That'll work. Do you want to go over here as well, or do you want to go down here? You got an option now. No, because we're going to put our thing in there, so we'll go around like this. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and remove this one here. And then we'll just continue our path this way, I think. Yeah, and then way we can go into the grass here a bit. There's a poor guy walking there. So we could obviously extend our path into this here. You're probably supposed to let it not walk in the desert, but I'm doing desert walking for now. There you go. There you go. And then we can go ahead and I'm going to get more wood cutting and all that. I'm going to use up what we can space-wise and I, I'm fine with that. And don't forget, you can build a forest, so I got to keep that in mind. I could always just build up on these forests, but uh, I like just using what there is, right? Working with what we have. So there's one there, there's one there, and here's one here. So that'll, that'll take care of the wood problem at least. And then uh, we're going to want to get more housing put in somewhere around here too, so... Let's see here. Something like that, maybe. And then we can go ahead and uh, get some housing put in here. Is that desert? Yeah. I don't know if... Because it does get affected by the climate, right? Like housing? Oh, let's click that again. And Bonus from... Maybe there is no... Maybe there actually is no desert issue with that, to be fair. I thought maybe there was, but you know what? Maybe there isn't. That's maybe just my fault thinking there was. There you go. We can take that one out, maybe extend the road or something. Okay. I think no peeps. Yeah, workers are uh, kind of our biggest issue actually right now, funny enough, so we should get that increased if we can. Okay, let's go back here. Let's see. I like it's, you know, dusk here or I don't know, maybe that's sunrise, but it's dark here, which is cool. So research here. There you go. We got lots of research. So pollution cleaner. I don't think we have an issue with that. House, glassworks, fountains. What does fountains do? Allows construction of fountains which give peeps happiness when walking nearby. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Cooking. Oh, so this is like extended happiness. What we need is clothing, but I guess, oh no, housing comes. Oh, okay, we're going to do that because then you got clothing after that, which would be pretty uh, useful. Oh, but you need glassworks. Apparently, you're going to wear glass clothing, so you got all your other ones. Okay, we can do glassworks next and then we'll do clothing. A little bit buffered like that. Awesome. Oh, there you go. We have our new colony ship. I'm not sure if I'm really ready for another colony ship quite yet, but holy crap. Oh, we... No, that's a pole. Is there a two poles? Oh, yeah, that's the poles. Wait, so we explored the whole... I guess we did. We didn't get an achievement, though, so I guess that throws that idea out the window. I thought maybe you can get an achievement when you explore, but... Um, so I wonder if you can colonize this. I mean, there's what's the point, right? Maybe there's a something you do with it later, but to be fair, I don't know if there's a much of a point to it. Okay, so we have our island, we have the desert island, then we have this island, and that's it, right? Basically, yeah. So, oh, and then you have this little one, meh. It's pretty much the same as the other one. So I'd say the, if you're going to colonize, it'd be the new one there. So, woo! Sorry, guys. I'm I'm making myself dizzy doing this too, to be fair. So, 
Okay, so we're gonna bring this guy over and basically we're gonna do the colonizing and oh, I see. I guess you have to bring it over to do your colonization. And then you gotta kinda decide where you wanna colonize on this island. I'd probably say inside here. You could do it here too, but you'd have to remove... We could have the pathway here too, to be fair. Might not be a bad idea. You can set up your mining and all that here. Yeah, okay, you're coming over here now, buddy. <laughs> That's if it will let me colonize here. Maybe you're not able to colonize here yet, but... We'll see here in a second. Yeah, you can colonize here. Okay. So you really only have a couple spots, really. So I'm thinking uh, this one here, then. Yeah, let's see it that way. There you go. So you have your new colony here. And then, of course, we're going to have to establish and do all the fun stuff here, obviously. All the good stuff again. And then uh, you get to decide where you want things and whatnot. Now you've uh, invented houses. Now that you've invented housing, you upgrade your huts into houses, which will accommodate people. Select the hut below. No, unlike building construction, most upgrades you'll want to upgrade them. Come in. You need to have all the resources you need immediately available so your peeps don't go without their home too long. Okay. That's interesting. Um, okay, so. We're just kind of deciding how we want to do this. like that I would say just kind of deciding how I want to run it through here right so okay that's a good start and then uh, yes yeah, so we'll, we'll start building our little huts here first of all I guess maybe later oh, okay you need to do library so you can do directly houses instead of the other ones when you do the up after like so you don't have to do upgrades you can just go straight for it obviously so um, there's your road there, so you could do, yeah, let's do that here. Yeah, you might have some issues later on there because of that, but whatever. If I do that, do I lose? No, it's there. I wonder what happens, though, if you just built on top of it. Would it just be kind of hidden there? There's oil over here. So you're going to have to come up with another trade route, I guess, for food here. Because uh, I'm guessing nothing can grow here. Or, oh, potatoes can grow here. Well, that's not so bad. You got a lot of space here, to be honest. Well, not really, but enough to get started anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'll take those out and then I can start my thing here. Oh, uh, yeah, look at all the trees here, though. You get kind of kind of owned with all the trees in the area. <laughs> Take that back. We got, like, no space around here. Okay, so let's put, uh, yeah. Let's get some basic farm stuff going, then. Um, let's do this here. I wanna, I'm going to do a nice little spot here. So maybe I should keep one of those for a lift, potentially. No, because then I'll lose you. So I can't do that. There you go. I can always come over here or something for wood. It's not like wood is going to be, uh, maybe even getting rid of that one. You've run out of red ancient technology in your second island. Your explorers investigate, but there's... Okay, find more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we'll do over time. And I'll put uh, a wood cutting in this one here. Do, 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 do. Sorry. What am I looking for? Wood cutting. Here we go. Get that right in there. Seems good. Okay, and then we're gonna need uh, obviously some other resources here soon, but let's get the wood cutting up first. Let's get this one up here too. Always could use the wood cutting. And then uh, let's get a water thing as well here. Hopefully that doesn't have too much of an effect in the area, but it might have a bit of an effect to be fair. I don't think it'll create pollution here, really, because it's out in the middle of nowhere. 
Oh, you're gonna probably create pollution mining that uh, oil later on, though. You're gonna want that for your ladder or elevator, sorry. Or though I can go there. No, you know what? We'll do that. This is the first time we had to really chop up some trees, but I think it'll be worth it to be fair. So, yeah, and then we'll have little elevators pretty much going everywhere. So we'll want to get up here. Um, and then you can actually do, uh, this is actually really cool, the world gen on this. You can actually jump on, unfortunately you can't jump on that one, but you can jump on quite a bit of these. Not enough workers, yeah, so we're low on the workers, which that's fine. We'll get a edumacation going in the future. Sorry, tree, I know we love our trees, but... Quality of life. Oh... Go. We're getting there, my friends. We just want to get the other basics going here, and then we'll leave this for a bit. So we're going to get this put up here. There you go. So let's get ourselves a couple things here built. Let's get ourselves um, the Explorer's Hut, obviously. And you do need a library. Even if you don't do the research on the island, you're going to need the library because it's required to basically build the advanced stuff anyway. So that's what we've learned here. Would it be Santa's Island like that, or Santa? It would be like that, but anyways. <laughs> there you go, Santa's Island. Okay, and then, yeah, I, I guess I could get used to using this. There's probably even a shortcut for this, honestly. So, look at all the options they got on this thing, too. So, preferences, here we go. Uh, well, I haven't looked at these. Pause the game when on focus, no thanks. Auto save, so that's good. Info pins, sh uh, show essentials. Uh, show hints, so that's all good. Notification timeout, 30 seconds. So you can set it to say one minute. Let's do that. Sometimes I am a bit slow. You got accessibility options, which is great. You got the camera options here, so that's cool. Left mouse button to drag. That's usually what I'm used to, to be fair. I wonder if I'll get used to, okay. And then you, you can do right click for actions now, probably. Oh, but it's going to be probably right-click the uh, build, too, I bet. Let's see here. Let's build a road. Oh, no, I can still do it that way. Okay. Maybe that won't be a problem. We'll see. I'll, I'll try it out, because that might be something I would like better, because we were talking about how I'm not used to that with the way they do it. On-screen camera controls, global saved cameras, uh, pull avoidance, space transition, smooth camera. So audio graphics. I think audios are pretty good. The music gets pretty loud though. Some of the music gets really loud and some of it's quiet. They gotta, hopefully they can fix that up over time. Okay, so what about the game stuff? We were gonna look on here. Uh, look at all the save cameras. These are just different save cameras you can do all over the world. Um, so I was just wondering how I change my, um, Previous island. Oh, okay. Comma and period. Okay. I probably won't remember that all the time, but there you go. That's pretty simple. Okay. Now I gotta remember how to move properly now. <laughs> I'm gonna have the. I'm gonna do this backwards all the time. Now I'm like, huh, how do you do it? Okay, so uh, yeah, we're good here. And uh, yeah, so we got a whole bunch of new things made. So uh, quality of life. Let's actually go to our. See, I thought I would know where it is, but... Oh, no, this is our desert island. Derp. Um, hot stuff. So, what about the power generation? How did that all go anyways when we set that up? So, we had the power generation up here. So, it should be producing power just fine now. So, what we really should be doing is getting ourselves some basic stuff going here. So, what, what's the peeps up to? Uh, 19 idle workers. Obviously, we got lots and lots of peepabeal... I don't know what I just said. I should be removed from this uh, game. Anyways, let's go ahead and place uh, some of this stuff down. So let's get ourselves a quarry going. Uh, I guess the quarry was here, right? A sand mine? Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Quarry, here you go. Oh, for the glass now. 
I guess that really unlocked the loot and a lot of new features. So if you were to build it here, you get no bonus, I guess. Oh, so you get a bonus, but you don't get... Oh, you do get two per... Okay, never mind. You get two instead of one, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay. I was wondering if you're surrounded by three, you'd get more, but I guess it's just two. But hey, two is better than none. Um, and then, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and do an iron mine, I guess, right here. So you have just the one. They're kind of spread out, to be fair. So it's up to you how you want to do that. I'd say just grab the one at a time right now then. Yeah. So you could either grab this one or, uh, yeah, well, we'll grab this one. We could put a pathway in here. I don't really need to go any further down there. Nah, you don't. Okay. So we'll put the uh, iron mine in here. There we go. And then you're going to need to, or you don't have to, but obviously I probably would like to get some of the that stuff manufactured, right? So maybe over here it's kind of, you know, I just have to remember not to maybe build houses or whatever over here just to keep the pollution away. But uh, let's see here, industry. So you got your iron smelter. So that goes out like ridiculous far, as you know. Um, you could put it over here. That might actually work better. It just misses the school stuff there. Yeah, let's do that. I like that spot, I think. And then let's go ahead and do the toolsmith over here. Now you could do it over here. I don't have actually anything built in this area to be fair, so it's kind of a nice spot, but I wouldn't probably get too far in there. Yeah, let's do it there. Let's do it there. Screw it. Kind of keeping my options open there for now. And then what about glass melting? Melt glass. Okay, let's check all that out because that that's obviously new and that'd be useful. So let's gather fine sand for making glass. Must be built on desert tiles. So. That's obviously all new to us. So, um, is it got pollution? Nope, there's no pollution. But, what about the smelting process? Because you're going to probably want your smelting process nearby, right? So, glass smelting. Yes, it does have pollution. So, I'm thinking maybe we could set up its own little area for that. Like, this is a pretty uh, desolate area, you can say. Not much going on here, so it might work out. Even over here. Look how barren it is over here. So, maybe that's what we'll do. So let's clean this up a bit. Let's take you and uh, we'll clear you out. I'm going to just clear you guys out here. There you go. I don't even know. These, these trees are dead, so I don't even know if they actually would produce anything. Like, I don't think they would help with pollution because, you know, they're non-existing pretty much. Okay. So I'll let them clear out that, and then we'll go ahead and put our road in. So I'm thinking we'll put our road right here. I am going to put a bridge in for fun here, I think. I was just thinking, why not, right? There's our bridge. Yeah, there's our bridge. Just being silly, I thought. It doesn't really matter too much here, I guess. I'm just trying to do something with this. There you go. Eventually I'll attach it up in there a bit more, but I'm okay with that. I can put a bridge over here. So that's probably not a bad idea, to be fair. So I could bring this guy here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, uh, the, the lift here. Actually, you're gonna wanna, yeah, no, that's actually a good spot. Yeah, so lift here. And then we'll do the bridge uh, right across from here to here. And then we can go ahead and put that there. <laughs> Looks a little broken that way, but once they finish it, it should work well. I like the little bridge ideas there. There you go. That was weird. Stop showing uh, a thing here, so it got really confusing to be fair. I 
hope I it's still going. This is constructing a building. Isn't it weird it just kind of disappeared there? You don't think this screwed up with... Oh, no, there it goes. Usually it shows the icon, like it continues showing an icon, so I was a little confused there. There you go. Okay. So that works. You got a little loop there if you need it. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Okay. So let's get that sand mine anyways. I thought we'd do it out in the ocean. Screw the uh, doing it close to land, right? That's what people have done for eons. They thought, oh, if we dump it all in the ocean, it won't affect us. And in some ways, it was. I mean, your ocean is, what, 70% of your planet? And uh, it works so well because you could just get rid of it and never deal with it. All Obviously, pollution on your own, you know, uh, non-ocean-based, you know, like, uh, you know, on your land, your lakes, things like that, usually got, you know, it was dealt with okay. And then we started to be like, well, maybe we should bury most of, most of our garbage now and... Uh, Either way, we're, we're ruining our planet either way. <laughs> so we're going to go down to... Oh, yes, we're going to do gather first. So we'll get a sand mine here. There you go. So is there bonuses? Oh, there's bonuses, all right. So you get more out of this. I guess the more sand it touches, the, the more of a bonus it gets, right? So I'm guessing that's how it works. So I wonder if you... I would have gotten a bigger bonus if it was like straight in the sand uh oops just trying to see the bonuses ah it's not two i think the one we saw would be the way to go three bonus here yeah i think that's the way to go there you go and then we're gonna go and do the processing obviously now glass smelting here so i want to do that kind of away from the pollution part or Yeah, let's do it over here. There you go, it doesn't even touch any of the trees. <laughs> yeah, how are you guys doing anyways? 23 idle workers, so you're doing pretty good. They need the clothing, by the way, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, quality of life. So you got all your clothing here, marketplace. Uh, what's the marketplace? Okay, uh, weaves cotton into fabric, produces new clothing from fabric. So where is it getting the fabric from? That I don't know actually. Dun dun dun. How are you guys doing anyways with your stone, uh, we have our stone set up, right? Are you, are you actually running? Oh yeah, it should run. So obviously they're getting slower because of the heat. Not having the clothing. Okay, so let's try that out then. Let's, uh... Yeah, so... It doesn't seem to uh, care or be affected by whatever, so like... I just didn't want to do it on the mine. You know, let's do it over here, I guess. So there you go. So here's your fabric stuff. And here is your tailor. What did it say? Oh. Stone and glass. Okay. Well, we're doing both of those soon. So so I guess that's where you needed the glass for, for the buildings themselves. But we're working on that right now. So we should be good. And we should probably get ourselves some storage here. Obviously, we're starting to deal with some uh, storage issues here, so. Where's our main? Oh, we come in here, right? We only have one spot you can do. Oh, because these are all, uh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Oh, because you can't go sideways on that? We'll do one here. Basically, we're just waiting for uh, the sand. Oh, there you go. So the mine's getting up. There we go. Okay, how's our other island doing here? 
You haven't uh, frozen to death or starved to death or anything crazy? I think we're doing good, actually. Yeah, better clothing. So these guys are also having the clothing issues. So obviously, because that requires sand and everything, I'm guessing the way to go with that is uh, uh, we do it on the other island and then we'll ship it out. Once they, they make enough, obviously, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this, and yeah, let's get rid of that. If that can be another warehouse, hell, why not? <laughs> there you go. So it is starting to make it, right? Yeah. And then uh, those are done. Awesome. So let's go ahead and build our new warehouses here. So I want to build one. I want to build one here, but oh, it looks like you can do one or the other. But oh yeah, I, I guess I knew that. I was just gonna do it that way. Awesome. Okay. How's our research going? We got 60 of the one. So fuel, uh, red research. Uh, so that's that. Fountains, cooking. Pollution cleaning. I don't think we have to worry about that. I might hold on to our uh, hold on to that stuff for now. Then um, I guess I should make a new boat though for our other island for uh, trading over obviously over time. So that's going to be somewhat important. So we have to decide what we're going to want to store in some of this. So I'm thinking we do the basic here, wood, uh, stone, and then uh, what can we do on this one here? Uh, wood, stone, and then maybe tools and glass. Oh, just guessing right now. And this one can be fabric. so. So you got the goods too, but that's different. Oh, I was saying we're not producing it right now. What is this? Luxury items, yeah. Okay, well you got that, and you got those. And then we could add, probably want to deal with your food and stuff still. Let's do potatoes and water. That way we're keeping an eye on those. It's like you don't have to do the glass to be honest. You could do another one. Well, it's just tools at that point, so it's kind of a waste, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do glass too. Then. Yeah, because glass is sort of separate. And then we'll have one for all the, the luxury stuff then. So here is these guys. So what's your complaint right now? No cotton available. Oh gosh. Uh, I didn't realize that, but uh, cotton. I was like wondering where were they gonna get the f material for fabric? I, you know, that was the one thing that was in my mind the whole time. Uh, start building a cotton field. Yeah, so you need cotton fields for that, obviously. Derp. Um, so what's the bonus on these cottons? Bonus from being next to fields. Bonus being next to accommodations. Yeah, pollution obviously not good. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should go. Let's see here. What I'm thinking of doing here is clearing this out. Clearing this out. You would cut into that, but I think that's okay. Let's do that. I have an idea here anyway. Let's use some of this land a bit better, I think. And then we can take this out here as well. There you go. And then this, because we're going to be the like the main cotton producer, I think, for here. So I think uh, this would make... Oh, we don't have any idle workers anymore. 
Well, we have a lot of projects going, to be fair, so that could just be more on the reason why. Um, and then this can be our, uh, yeah, let's get the cotton going here. So you got four, and then, yeah, these will get bonuses anyways. We'll get three of them started, but we'll have more, more obviously, to uh, expand as time goes on. He's like, oh, you're cutting down my forest. I guess I probably had a forest here, right? Sorry, buddy. I needed it. Okay, that'll help with that. Um, I like to expand. Uh, do we have any food problems or anything like that right now? I don't think so. Lots of water. We got lots of uh, fruit. So we're going to do giving them the better stuff, but yeah. We shouldn't have too much of an issue, but there could be some problems as time goes on. This does help with pollution, but we can always regrow them now we've learned that, so screw it, you're gone. <laughs> it's like we know better now. I wanna I wanna just expand here. So if I have this one, I have that that. If I have this one, you have that and that. Really didn't give much of an expansion there. Gives you two spots, I guess, still. Okay. What do you want to put in there? I'm thinking, well, it, it likes apples, orchids, you know, orchids. Hopefully the pollution is not going to get that. Whatever, we're going to put those there. You get the bonus from the house. Okay. So if you use that up, you kind of, yeah. Oh, you can go over here, though, later. Yeah, okay. We're just seeing what other options I have here. But I can put a road right here. And then I can use these tiles a bit more efficiently. There you go. So I should look into upgrading houses. I don't know what it requires to upgrade a house, to be fair. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, what, what is all these uh, markers saying? Another hut? Oh, it's just oh, it's just showing you because you click that, so it's showing you all the huts around here. Okay, that makes sense. It's like yes, yes, you're right. That is another hut, buddy. So you get bonuses from them, I guess, being near each other. What's like my denser hut area? This one here, I guess. Bonuses. Oh yeah, so you have those bonuses. So technically, you probably can need to get another bonus right here, just having a hut here. So let's build a regular hut here. go. Well, let's build the big one here. It's going to build a big one anyways, but let's just do it now. So the big one, what's the cost difference anyways? Oh, it costs tools and stone. Okay, so four tools and four stone is the, the cost difference there. And it'll, it'll uh, be a bit of a jump because you'll get an extra bonus. So the other houses nearby will bonus, but that one also will, I guess, bonus up a bit. So, But we got lots of tools, lots of wood here. So this island is doing really well. We're just a little low on the worker side of things, I think. Yeah, idle workers are quite low, so... Once we get that done, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I can also put priority on the upgrades, right? So there you go. Oh, yeah. So we went from 36 to 43. Don't forget, these guys would have also gotten the extra bonuses out of it. But yeah. So let's do upgrade. Yeah, okay. So there's what the upgrade menu looks like. And we're going to upgrade these too. We're going to set higher priority on this. Hopefully that means they'll, they'll do their thing. You started your first upgrade, note when building, blah, 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 demolition tool will become cancel upgrade. Okay, so if you screw up and you can't do it right away, you can uh, just do that for now. So I guess the houses, oh, I, I didn't even realize that the houses become, you lose your, your population number there because the houses are uh, not in use right now. Okay, so that, that obviously becomes an issue. There we go. So really, it's just workers at this point is our, our biggest issue. So we're at 47 now. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And there's even another upgrade, I guess, eventually. So there's a third upgrade, potentially. That's pretty badass. Let's upgrade uh, this one right here. <laughs> Screw it. Why not? 
And there we have it. So I would say we're doing pretty good here. Um, this should get us kickstarted a bit more over here, obviously. We'll get our cotton going and then we'll start producing clothing and then these guys will be good. But as you can see, everything is literally based on not enough workers. So um, with the houses being upgraded here, just getting them up closer to the, uh, the 60 mark, it'll help us quite a bit, I think. So there you go, 49. Yeah, so I'm thinking of like, I don't want to overdo it accidentally, but uh, obviously I should probably build more. Now, I wonder how much you'd get out of this spot here. <laughs> put a house here, you get surrounded by three at that point. Oh, and then I could put one in here. So yeah, if you put a road here, you could really get some housing surrounded here. But I don't want to overdo it either, right? So, because then you're going to be stuck with that, so. Okay. I think we'll leave it here then, and then when we come back, we'll probably do a bit more housing upgrades. Just maybe one more or two more. And then uh, we'll hopefully be producing uh, enough of the, the stuff. We'll probably just keep uh, basically min-maxing at this point, increasing our, our needs and whatnot. And it's like it's snowing over here. Oh, yeah, it is snowing here. I saw it so far. I thought it was raining at first or rain was coming, but it was just snow far away. But uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.